I became an atheist uh, when I was 15 years old. I, I remember there was an exact moment. I was digging a hole with a stick. And I... <laughs> now, if you've just recently become an atheist, try to be cool about it, right? Because especially in this country, people use atheism almost like its own religion, right? Because when you become an atheist, you're very angry because you, you've been fed so many lies that you become angry. Right? So try to be what I call a good atheist. I used to be a bad atheist, right? I, I like, for example, I didn't go to a friend's wedding once because I was in a church because I wouldn't set foot in a church, right? And then like, I couldn't go to parties because I always end up in a corner with a Christian going, you're a fucking idiot, right? <laughs> and that's no way to live your life, you know? So you know what? You gotta live and let live in this world. Have the magic man, don't have the magic man. I don't give a fuck. And since I have this new sunny disposition, <laughs> my life's really turned around. I've got more friends, I tolerate others. I'm now godfather of the three children and that's retarded. <laughs> Cause these people know me and they still fucking ask. They still come up and go, Jim, will you be the child's godfather? And I'm like, yes. <laughs> And then I stand there in church with the priest and the parents and the priest is holding the baby and the priest turns to me and goes, Jim, will you spiritually guide this child throughout its life? <laughs> sure. <laughs> because I have no problems lying in church. <laughs> what difference does it make? Now, there are two reasons why babies are christened, right? There's the real reason, which is the church are trying to recruit people who can't talk. Then there's the second reason, the Bible's reasons, God's reason. This is why God wants you to christen your child. Because if you don't christen your child and it dies in infancy, it doesn't get into heaven. Aww. <laughs> so if you are religious, your God sounds like a super guy. <laughs> but if he lets one dead baby into heaven, then he has to let all the dead babies into heaven. <laughs> And before you know it, heaven's just filled with fucking dead babies. <laughs> Won't be able to move for dead babies. <laughs> and let's not act like these babies didn't know what they did. <laughs> now, it's not lost in me that when I tell a joke like that in front of this many people, then in this room, there's a good chance that there's a couple who lost their child in infancy. And I'm a comedian, I'm meant to make you laugh. And, and uh, I've just reminded you of the most horrible thing that ever happened to you. And, and for that, I am sorry. But <laughs> if you weren't smart enough to get a pedophile in a dress to put a small amount of water on the child's forehead, <laughs> what the fuck did you think was gonna happen, right? <laughs> As far as I'm concerned, you're bad parents. <laughs> and that's why God took your child away from you. <laughs> because I think we all know that God makes no mistakes. So. <laughs>